Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. I hope you're all having another beautiful day. Nobody's trying to eat your brains today. Nothing bad like that is happening. If that is actually happening to you, you should probably just turn the video off and deal with more important things. That being said, though, today we're going to be doing another character study. And this one, I'm going to try to make... <laughs> The last two podcasts I just did were both like 20 and 30 minutes each, so I'm going to try to make this one a little bit shorter. So I'm talking about Ravi. Ravi is a character from a show I was recently obsessed with and will be obsessed with again once it comes back on here later this week actually. I know I just dated my own um, when I'm recording this, which I definitely shouldn't do, but I zombie. The show that I'm talking about it comes back later this week so that like maybe I should have waited till the season was over before doing this but whatever Ravi is a character one of the main characters from the show I zombie I zombie is a show about a woman it is based off a comic book it is about a woman who turns into a zombie and basically she uses her zombie powers because she's not like a zombie zombie she's a very much like a a 2018 zombie you know we have so many zombie stories where it's like oh I have a zombie mode but like I can live day to day as long as I can like eat brains or whatever um, stories like warm bodies uh, song Korea um, a million other ones recently that came out follow this format and she basically as long as she eats brains she's cool and, but when she eats these brains, she has flashbacks of the character's, like, memories. And she uses those flashbacks, like, she works at a morgue, so she will get these characters' flashbacks and use that to tell the police, like, Hey, this is actually what happened. This is how the character died. And then the police are just like, Oh, cool, thanks. Like, that's, like, the whole show. Like, her being buddy-buddy with the police. Um, it's it's a very interesting show. It is very like I recommend it to anyone and I'm sure if you haven't watched it by now then like you probably won't enjoy this episode. So click on to another episode uh, if you're inclined. But I'm talking about Ravi from iZombie. And for those of you who have not watched the show, this is the time to turn off. Okay, so Ravi, I love this motherfucker. Like the most... Like, people talk about British accents and why, like, how alluring they are, especially to us Americans, because we all speak like idiots. And the way Ravi speaks is just so great. I love this dude. Literally, this character is, like, the ultimate bro. He is, like, the epitome of, like, a friend character. Which, that's, that's ultimately his role in iZombie. He is like the supporting best friend character. He's not like the best friend. He's the partner in crime, you could say, to um, Liz, the main character. But he like supports her and everything. He's super smart. He's like the scientist behind like he'll just suddenly develop a cure for zombieism. And he'll like know all these things. And he's like the guy who does that. That is his role. And, like, he's also, like, best friends and roommates with her ex-boyfriend. And he's also, like, developing a relationship with her best friend. It's a very close circles group they got going on here. But they all have, like, such good chemistry. I literally could watch, like, a show just about Liv and Ravi. Like, those two characters, and I'm literally downloading this wallpaper that I just saw. Because I'm looking up Ravi on Google Images. Um, literally this guy, like, I can't describe to you, like, how fun he is. Liv and Ravi have, like, the best chemistry and like, most of the TV shows I've ever seen. Like, you know, a lot of these shows, like, sitcoms, stuff like that, it's really meant to be turned on just to kind of be, like, numbing and soothing to your brain. Like, my girlfriend will turn on Friends just because she likes Friends. I've turned on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia just cuz I like it's like I love these characters and I'm I am obsessed with the show a little bit and it's like that's why you turn these shows on. 
and this is such an easy thro show to throw on, but it still has like these overarching plots that are like, you can marathon it like it's a TV drama. And like, but at the same time, the characters are so like fun and interesting that it's like, um, like there's a reason to just turn it on in the background. And Ravi, like him as a character, like he has grown. At the end of the last season, he turned into a zombie. Like, I saw the trailer for the new season, and he has the strip of white hair. It's pretty much confirmed that Ravi became a zombie, pretty much just because all of Seattle is a zombie at this point in the show. And he's like, eh, fuck it. Like, I gotta, he's like, fuck it. I gotta research this cure. Like, I might as well just bite the bullet. Like, who gives a shit at this point? Um, which kind of gives a, um, kind of gives you a perspective of the character himself. And, you know, he has a very classic look. He wears a sweater vest and a lab coat. He's got this beard, this epic beard. I remember on my beard game struggles, I have that. I have him as the thumbnail. Um, this picture of him with, like, this little thing. And he's such a goofy character. Like, he's so much, like, um, like, he's so dumb at points. Like, I love, like, that we're going to act like he's, like, um, we're gonna act like it'll have an episode like where Liz eats the brain of like M MMO junkie and he, he's like oh I just happen to know everything about this MMO and he's such a nerd and he'll be like really into like a lot of like the things that Liz isn't into but like the people she eats like their hobbies like he'll just randomly be obsessed with those hobbies or it's either that or he'll just like hate whatever like um, that person is like he's just like oh like I can't believe you ate the brain of this type of person now I gotta deal with you being this way and it's like such cute chemistry like like Liv and Ravi ultimately should be the relationship only because they are um, you know so much fun and like like towards like one of the season finales she's literally just sitting in a car the entire time and then he gets shit on for like the whole next season for just sitting in the car. And him and what is her face? His r romantic interest, um, the girl from Cowbells, uh, Big Tits, as she's called in one movie. I forget his name. Peyton, Peyton. Her, her, I really like ship him and Peyton. Him and Peyton like also have like a really good chemistry. And he kind of just like want. Like, that's who Ravi wants, so it's like, whatever Ravi wants, I want him to have. Um, like, yeah. But anyway. Um, he, like, basically at this point in time, like, everyone's murdered someone, and Ravi's only killed one person, who is Jenko, who, um, was, like, the big black dude, um, uh, who got, like, tranquilized or overdosed, um, by Ravi. And, you know, like... He's he's such a fun dude. Like that's ultimately like the biggest thing I can say about him in this podcast is he's like a huge fun dude and he's such a nerd and I love everything about him. Like I love how smart he is, his hobbies, like all the reasons you would love a character. He's interesting. Um he works at a morgue, which is a cool like interesting job and despite that like he's has this charming personality and he's just like always like fun and he's like sarcastic and all these things but like if you work at a morgue you should just be fucking unhappy because you're dealing with dead bodies but he would just be like nope let's bag it and tag it like here we go like uh i just love him but um i said this was going to be a short one because i have to record like a bunch of these today so i think i'm going to cut it at that i think i gushed over ravi enough best character of this show uh, you know, Liv is, like, obviously an amazing character because she's so, like, dynamic and has all these flavors. She's, like, a flavor of the episode. But, like, instead of being, like, character of an episode, like, she's, like, the flagship of that embodied in a character. Like, I don't know. But Ravi, the heart of the show. Hands down. Anyway, thank you for listening as always, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Thank you for listening. And with that... I leave you.